I'm Jackie from the Multnomah County Library School Corps with novelties, new books you can't wait to discuss, 2020. This topic is survival stories. I'll be mentioning some websites throughout this presentation and you can find the links listed in the notes below this video. When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jameson and Omar Mohammed, grades four through eight. Born in Somalia, Omar and his younger brother Hassan are stuck in a Kenyan refugee camp called Dadaab. Their father was killed in the war and their mother is missing. They have a foster mother, Fatuma, but their days in the camp are long, stressful, and boring. Omar worries about getting help for his brother, who is nonverbal and suffers from occasional seizures. When Omar gets a chance to attend school, he's torn. It opens the door to new opportunities, but it means leaving his brother with Fatuma for a few hours every day. Omar fears that abandoning his brother would be selfish, but Fatuma convinces him that when God presents you with an opportunity, you mustn't turn away from it. And once Omar starts school, he sees that his absence actually allows Hassan to grow and mature. Based on Omar Mohammed's true life story, this graphic novel includes a follow-up about what happened to the boys when they finally left the refugee camp. So here are some possible discussion questions and topics for this book. Loss. Omar says, it's a valiant and agonizing struggle to focus not on what you have lost, but on what you have been given. What does he mean? How does he show this in his life? Disability. Omar's friend Jerry says, it's part of who I am. I limp, but it's only part of who I am. How does this statement affect the way Omar thinks about Hassan? And jealousy. Omar struggles with feelings of jealousy when his friend Nimmo's family gets resettled to Canada. How do you deal with jealous feelings when your friends have something you don't? I've also linked to some related websites in the notes below. I included a link to a book trailer, to the educator guide from the publisher, and also to a podcast called Muzamil's Day, which is about a boy growing up in the same refugee camp where Omar lived. Where the World Ends by Geraldine McCoffrian, grades seven and up. Every summer, the boys from Quills Island Village, along with a few of the men, are rowed out to a remote rock in the ocean to hunt for birds. It's the 1700s, so they don't have modern equipment. They have to catch the birds by hand, dry the meat, and save the feathers to bring home at the end of the summer. Their catch will keep their families fed for the year, and some can be sold on the mainland. But this year, when summer is over, the boat from the village never returns to pick them up. What could have happened? And how can they survive a winter alone on the rock? This book is based on a true story. Wink by Rob Harrell, grades five through seven. More than anything, Ross wants to be a normal middle school student. But his life drastically changes the summer before seventh grade when doctors find that he has a tumor right above his right eye. After surgery, he's left with a scar on his forehead and a droopy eyelid, making it look like he's permanently winking. Daily radiation treatments make his skin so sensitive that he always needs to wear a big hat, even indoors, and cover his skin with slimy lotion. So much for being anonymous. To make things even worse, one of Ross's best friends will no longer talk to him, and someone has started sharing cruel memes with his picture in them. When his radiation technician introduces him to playing the guitar, Ross finds an outlet for his angry feelings. Will this be what it takes for the other students to see him as more than just a cancer patient? We've also included links below to a full list of the titles from all of our novelties videos from this year. Links to other school core presentations that you can watch if you enjoyed this one. A link to book discussion tips from Multnomah County Library. We'd also really appreciate it if you would fill out our survey and let us know what you think of these videos. 
And finally, we've included more information about our school core program. Thanks for listening.